My next guest are best pals who took on an epic challenge to race across the world. Ah, Trisha and Cathy join me now. <laughs> what a joy to watch you two in the, in the show. It, it's just absolutely brilliant. It's all Trisha's fault that you did this, isn't it? It, it absolutely is <laughs> yeah. Trisha's fault. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. You were the one that said, let's go for it. Yeah, I'd watched season one and season two yeah. um, and I thought it was a really, really good concept and I... So because of my sight issues, I thought I need to do this. Of course. Um, so we did a quick video and then I phoned Cathy and said, fancy doing this? And she was like, yeah, why not? Why not? Why, why not? not indeed? But she didn't know what it was about until <laughs> halfway through the... But what has been lovely to see is your friendship yeah. and how you really support each Thank other. You. Because there was that one time when you were on that horrible, what you call it, cable car oh, thing God, in that. Banff. <laughs> and I was with you all the way because I hate them as well. <laughs> and you were so good. Oh. You just kept saying, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You're going to be all right. And it's that, that bond between the two of you. It's lovely. Yeah, it's, it is really special yeah. and to us it's very normal. We, we don't really think anything of it. Sure. But when other people comment yeah. on how special it is, it, it kind of... Oh, if you get feels... a soulmate, I mean, your soulmate doesn't have to be somebody that you're, you know, having a relationship oh, with yeah, in that absolutely. sense. Your soulmate can be your friend, yeah, can be your absolutely. pal, you know. Yeah. And you were saying you've got issues with your, your sight. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be losing... Well, I'm losing my sight. I've got about 5% to 7% in my, oh, in my eyes. Um, so eventually I will lose my sight. Um, and this is one of the reasons I did it with Cathy, is because we're going to grow old disgracefully together. Oh, absolutely. I'm so pleased. Um, I'm so yeah. pleased. Yeah. But you're kind of like your friend's eyes. You're like, you know, you like yeah. Trisha's eyes as well. Yeah. You know, you can tell her what's going on. Mm. You know, see, you can experience things yeah. through your friend. You know, that, yeah. that's, that's astonishing. It, it really is. So what did you... What did everybody, all the family, think of this idea? <laughs> um, my my boys were thrilled to bits. They thought yeah, it was really super cool. cool. Absolutely, <laughs> cool super cool. One, one was cool. Um, my husband Gareth was hugely supportive. I couldn't have done it without his support sure. because I left him at home, sort of running the business. Um, obviously, there were certain anxieties about the unknown. Mm. Um, it's brave, it, you know? It, yeah. It's a brave thing to it, do. It, it was a brave thing to do. Very much so, very, very much yeah. so. And of course, you had the added worry, Trisha, of your, your husband, because he was going through a big operation, wasn't he? A transplant operation. Um, he'd actually had a transplant, right. but while we were out there, his transplant failed, so oh, we ended geez. up back on dialysis. Um, but we'd had a conversation before we went anywhere, right. um, and he said, if it does fail, if you come home, I will divorce you. So, wow. you know, <laughs> so you know I know what? Have to stay. That's an amazing thing. Yeah. That's an incredible because, of course, you would be worried sick about him, Absolutely. feeling guilty for leaving him. Absolutely. But he's actually said to you, yeah. "Do not come back. Go for this. Absolutely, go for this experience." Because yeah. he's on dialysis. He's going to be on dialysis until he gets a kidney. So nothing's going to change. So. Right. I know. But then, but you, you know what it's like. You know yeah. what we're like. You're, you're worried and you're concerned. Absolutely. And that's again where this friendship comes yeah. into play yeah. because you can say it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. And support each other. Yeah. She was Absolutely. a massive support to me through that through the, the whole period actually yeah. you know um, and it must have been half the Cathy because I didn't know whether I was going to go home because yeah. I felt torn of course um, you were of course you were absolutely we carried on and I, I love the fact that you said you're doing this for sort of menopausal women everywhere oh definitely <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> because we did see the whole kind of, you know, there was, you know, your Canada is freezing, but yes. you still have the flushes and oh, all yeah. the other symptoms and all of that. We had our own sort of central heating going, yes, didn't we? we? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think what? you saw me in T-shirt in the snow. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. What a beautiful country. Oh, stunning. Isn't it gorgeous? I think you guys have done more in this show for the Canadian Tourist Board than anything. <laughs> Everybody just wants to go there. But it is glorious. It really is. Daunting, though. This is not an environment for the faint-hearted. No, no, especially when you're, you don't have a plan. Yeah. You know, if yeah. you've got a plan and you know what you're going to do and, and you've researched everything, yes, absolutely. But we didn't have a plan. No, you don't, and you're not allowed to do certain things. No. You're not allowed to fly, are you? No. Nope. You're not allowed to do no. anything like that. No. no. Money, everything like that is, is sort of taken away from you. Yeah. No and phones. No phones so we at all. couldn't do any yeah. research. So it's not like you can sort of, you know, book an Uber. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely right. not. Take me to the next thing. So as well as testing, you know, physically, yes. it's, it's testing your resilience, it's testing all yeah. of that. It's also your ingenuity. Mm. Absolutely. And how do we get from A to B? Yeah. Yeah. That's the most astonishing thing. Yeah. And again, that's where the two of you really rely on one another as well we did i think we've you know we we are polar opposites in yeah. some respect but that's quite good it worked quite well mm. that we were able to use sort of 
Brains of brawn. <laughs> <laughs> she is the brains of the team. And then, so you think up the idea and then you, you make it happen, Trisha. Yeah, yeah. You actually make it happen. I just wind her up and let her go. Really. Yeah. Then, you know. <laughs> this cannot, and obviously we don't know what happens. We don't know who no, wins. No. We don't want to know you're that. No, you're all, watch it. Absolutely, we will watch it for sure. Um, but you can't stop doing adventures, you two. You, no. You've got the bug now. Yeah. So what's the next thing? And you want to cram as much as you can, you know, yeah. before eventually you won't be able to see. Yeah, absolutely. So when we came back, uh, both myself, Cathy, and her husband Gareth uh, walked up Machu Picchu, um, yeah. and then I did a London marathon literally the week after Machu Picchu. All oh, right, okay. And then in October, we're hoping. Well, I'm definitely going to uh, um, China to do a trek on the Great Wall of China. Fantastic. Uh, and hopefully, Cathy and Gareth. Oh, you me. have to, Cathy. It has to be the dynamic <laughs> know, duo. It's I not going to work otherwise. It's, it's the timing. That's I know. All. I know. That's true. That can always work. But you know, I mean, I'm sure that folks would love to have the two. I could see you two adventures everywhere, like a TV series, yeah. epic adventures, the epic adventures Cathy. of absolutely go to Antarctica. <laughs> Mongolia, yeah. all these places oh, that oh, I love. love to, yeah. Amazing. Love yeah. And just see it all through your eyes yeah. and you would be able to have all these experiences. Exactly, exactly. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having us. Your, our friends, so our, our girlfriends are so, so important. They are. And you've just reinforced that. Yeah. yeah. And girl, girl power. Girl power. <laughs> love it. Race Across the World, of course, continues next Wednesday at 9 o'clock on BBC One. Now, if you haven't seen it, you're in for a treat and you can catch up on this series and all the other ones on the BBC iPlayer. Isn't it great we can do that? I know, I still so get good. I still get excited that we can pause real telly. <laughs> like, don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Pause real life. Brilliant.